Hello everyone. Welcome to another Microsoft Purview video where we'll be covering Microsoft Information Protection Policy for S3 Bucket. As part of this video, we'll cover the high-level steps that are required to enforce MIP policy on S3 Bucket. Secondly, we'll go through a demo. In the high-level steps, you would need to register an S3 Bucket within the Microsoft Purview's data map and enable policy enforcement. Secondly, you would go about creating and publishing a sensitivity label. Once the sensitivity label has been created, you would need to scan the S3 bucket so that the sensitivity label that you have created would be pushed down to the data source. In this case, it is an S3 bucket. Finally, you would create and publish a protection policy. Now let's look at the demo. On the landing page of Microsoft Purview, you would be able to click on the data map and then register your data source. Here, I've got an S3 bucket that has been registered and I have enabled it for policy enforcement. Once you have enabled the data source for policy enforcement, you will need to go about creating a label. Go back to the landing page and then click on information protection. We would be able to see the sensitivity label um, tab. Click on it and click create label. While creating the label, I provide the name for the label, which is S3 hyphen confidential data. It could be anything that you prefer and what the users need to see. Click next. Define the scope, which is set at item and file and also schematized data assets. I can provide details of when the sensitivity label needs to be applied. I'm more interested in the schematized data assets where I define my sensitivity label S3 hyphen confidential data to be applied when one of these conditions are met, which could be Australian bank account number or driver's license is found in a file or folder, then that needs to be marked as S3 hyphen confidential data. I click next and click save. The next step is to rescan the S3 data for which you will go into the data map and click on new scan. You would need to provide the credentials test the connection and kick off the scan. Once the scan is completed, we will do the protection policy. Go back into the information protection application, click on protection policy and click on new protection policy. You will be able to provide the name of the protection policy, give any description that you would want to and pick up the sensitivity label against which you want to apply this protection policy. Here it is S3 confidential data, which I've gotten over here click Add and click Next. I need to apply this on the S3 bucket, so I click on S3 bucket, click Edit, and include the bucket against which I need to apply this policy. This is called Customer Demo. Let's select that. And you would see that the policy enforcement is enabled, and I click Done. Here it says, deny read for everyone except the, the users that I mentioned over here. Here, I'm going to pick up the admin user to be able to read data, whereas all other users must be denied access. Click next, turn on runs and submit. Now that the protection policy has been created successfully, let's see whether the admin user is able to access the file that has been marked as S3 hyphen confidential data, while all other users who were having access to that particular file prior to the labeling is now denied access. Moving on to the admin user. We are in the S3 bucket, which holds the system classification.csv file. The user should be able to download the file as you can see over here. I've now logged in as another user who previously had access to the system classification.csv file within the same S3 bucket, but now should be denied access. As the message states, the access has been denied. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you will be able to explore this capability where we are able to enforce MIP policy on S3 bucket. Thank you.